Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Self Reliance for All Part 4. I cannot believe I have to go this far, but I run into, um, I mean, I, I, I'm okay. I know how to do it. It's just I want to um, uh, make sure that I provide all the details for for the viewers. So like I said, the caliper <coughs> was not um, fitting onto um, over the brake pads, okay? And the reason why is because this gap right here, this right this gap was way too too narrow and uh, look how uh, how thick this area is with the new calipers in place um, so what you want to do is like I said get the C clamp look at the C clamp look at that this is a, the C clamp okay and you have two um, areas where the pistons come out to squeeze the calipers okay um, most of the cars have only one so that makes it easy so the only way to, because otherwise, if you don't do this, you will not be able to pull the caliper on top, put everything back on, and get the car on the road. So use an old caliper. This is the one that uh, was the outer one. It was old. Uh, I'm going to throw it away. I don't need it. Put it across the two um, pistons that come out and alternate. Um, start with the right, this side, doesn't matter. I mean. I can't tell which is the right left because once I switch the position, um, the left and right are not the same. But start with one and then squeeze this, squeeze it, squeeze it and, and until it pushes. The caliper move is being pushed by this and it pushes the piston back. Um, it doesn't go fairly easy, but um, neither hard. So um, don't expect it to slide like. <coughs> a knife through through butter uh, but if you keep twisting it it will slide all the way back um, and then you have to don't go don't don't um, twist this until it reaches this so it, um, is being pushed all the way in um, make a few turns switch to this side push it in this end it's easier to uh, um, I guess put it on this side but you have room um, don't touch the, the uh, braking fluid line but because you have room right here in the, in the very back um, on the very top of it to attach, to attach it this is safe you don't have to hammer it just just put the end in uh, the other end on uh, on the caliper start um, turning the handle and this will slide in this will slide in and push the pistons like I said alternate back and forth a few twists on this side switch to this side switch to this side switch to this side until it doesn't move any further back that's a sign that there's enough room now if I remove the C-clamp if I remove the caliper um, sorry the brake pad the old one this should slide over the brake pads alright I hope this one um, really covered everything that's needed to know in order to put the caliper back on so we'll see you definitely I'm hoping I don't want to say part 5 I might go to part 6 but um, I know that I'm providing enough information for whoever wants to do it uh, themselves. Alright, thank you so much.